Are you ready for Wadzilla? Um, I'm not sure actually. You're still a derby? Uh, yeah, very, very uncertain. But I'm very looking, uncertain. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to having, having some fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. I'm excited to watch you on this. Oh, well, I think it's going to be quite busy. Is it? Uh, I think it's going to be quite busy down there, definitely. Do you do well with the crowd? The psych? <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> I'm not sure. Sam would probably know. I think so. What we've discovered is do, Sam yeah. probably knows better about me and my climbing than I do because it's a more honest representation. Um, yeah, Francis won't tell you the truth. Sam, how does Francis do on with crowds? I think you should do better. I think you should do better with a crowd. A little bit more psych. I think you'll be alright. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm psyched. Let's go. What climb are you doing today? Uh, I'm trying Wadzilla. What is Wadzilla? <laughs> can you wait? Can you just explain to North Americans like myself what <laughs> what uh, a wad is? Probably not actually, but I'm sure one of these guys can help me. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> a wad. <laughs> We've got a crowd here. <laughs> I guess it's, it's a term we use to describe really strong people. But beyond that, I mean, it kind of gets thrown around a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> so it's a term to describe really strong people. And then, so someone called this Wadzilla for really strong people. So I guess it's the sit start to Godzilla, so it's the harder start to Godzilla. So maybe, put in perspective, that makes a bit more sense. Gotcha. So Johnny over here did the first <laughs> Johnny, you did the FA? Yeah. And you named it Wadzilla? Yeah. yeah. I should be asking Johnny what the... <laughs> Wait. No, keep asking for <laughs> Wait, Johnny, Johnny, what's a wad? Uh, Francis. 
Francis is a one. Okay. Charlie named the climb after you, so. He definitely didn't name the climb after me, no. <laughs> How close are you on it? Um, it's kind of difficult to say um, because for me, I think the most droppable bit is the last move. Um, so even if I manage to get to the last move, there's quite a high chance I'll drop it like over and over again. So it's yeah, one of these days, hopefully it'll just go. That'd be great. <laughs> Hopefully today. Yeah, I know, that'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, in short, I, I don't really know. I've fallen off the last move quite a few times. Wow. What does that feel like? I don't really get that worked up about it. No. So I'd love to do it, that'd be great. But yeah, I, I don't usually get that frustrated, um, even dropping the last move. So, if it goes, it goes. Have you and, always uh, been like that, or is, is this just who you are? Or um, I think I've only had ever sort of one proper meltdown. Uh, Sam witnessed that fully, my proper meltdown in Magic Wood. Um, but that is probably the most that was on Jack's frustrating. Heart. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's probably the most worked up I've ever got uh, over a climb. But no, generally I. I don't throw tantrums. Cool. I'll let you climb. I'll let you <laughs> yes. get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> let me hide in my hole and climb and not look at a camera. <laughs> How are you feeling about your climb? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I'm having a bit of a hard time with the um, the crux move of Godzilla. You basically get like a, a like a fairly decent crimp, but you have to be quite aggressive on it uh, and just put a lot of weight through it. Um, I'm struggling with that a little bit. Uh, Everyone's telling you to crimp, but you're doing a, a drag. Yeah, so I mean, anyone who climbs with me a decent amount knows that this is my happy place and I have nightmares about this. So, <laughs> so and I, I don't think there's much of a way around it. You basically just have to be really crimped up on it. Um, I've tried for a while to avoid it and I think I'm just going to have to accept it. I have to put my thumb over it. Uh, You've got a project yeah. that you're working I on? I do indeed, yeah. You've spent a lot of the last um, yeah, know, five years here, <laughs> um, whenever I can in the summer. Uh, yeah. What's the, what's the name? Uh, it's called The World Is Yours, and it's graded 8C, and it's pretty hard. But, um, yeah, and and how many sessions have you had on this so far? <laughs> I think I'm around 60. 60 yeah, sessions? Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> Someone said more than 60. <laughs> Sam said more than 60. <laughs> if you count the times I've climbed it in my head at home, then yeah, we're up to like a thousand or something like that. Yeah, that's quite a struggle. That's some dedication. 
Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like the blessing of living in Bristol and not having actually anything else around to climb. So <laughs> it makes it easier yeah, yeah. to keep coming back here. So it's an hour drive? Yeah. There and back? Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Like, my day circle, like, I drove to Heartland for a day trip the other day and that's like two and a half hours. So it's kind of, yeah. An hour, hour is quite, quite easy. You were talking about your process for getting ready to climb a V15. What do you do every time you come? Uh, so there's this nice 7A on the left that I'll do sort of four or five times as my warm up. And then I tend to jump up. Like the problem, the project breaks down quite nicely into sort of three sections. You've kind of got like a 7C, 7C plus, or 7C first section into like a four move, 8A plus 8B into another end section that's about 70 plus again <laughs> so I then after I've done 7a a few times I'll jump on the 70 plus bit at the top um, which feels normally quite steady if it, things are going well and then then I try and go through the cracks and that can normally take a couple of goes and then I work like the bottom bit and then get the fun bit of sitting around for ages wait <laughs> in between goes because it's quite sharp so you only get like I think at most I've had like six goes from the start in a session. Um, when you either get tired or run out of skin, basically. And then you, you come late too and you bring lights? Yep, yeah. So this year it hasn't been too bad. It's been relatively cold, but last summer it was like really warm. So I was always sort of getting here at around seven. Um, I think I think the best go I've had was at about half eleven one night. Um, that was when I fell one move from the end. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Do you feel closer after 60 sessions? Uh, not uh, compared to the end of last year. At the end of last year it was really good, but then it, like the crag gets banned because of bats hibernating here. Um, so along with them having the fun of spreading coronavirus, they like to ruin my climbing. We don't even get anything from bats. Like, well, it's just... <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it's I'm not feeling as good as then, but I'd spent like five months on it last year, basically only trying it, so it was that was it was good. Nice. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this year I'll start feeling a bit more like it did at the end of last year. But you must be one of the most patient men on earth. Is that true? Well, I spent a lot of time in France. So <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Looking good. Come on. That's it. Come on. Come on. Breathe, man. Come on. Good. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. Go on. Pass her all there. I lost my soul, man. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh. Good go. So yeah, it was good. Yeah. Totally yeah, unexpected, man. man. Oh shit. Fuck. I was feeling close in it. Oh. That's alright, you do it again. No. Billy, what's going on? We're, we're, we're trying uh, a 
um, an eliminate dino just here because I couldn't do the I couldn't do Godzilla, so I've tried, I've tried this dino. Yeah, you can. It hasn't been done yet. Yeah, if you're not winking, yes. It looks very possible, just very scary. It's quite far, isn't it? Yes. It is like my size far. Two meters or so. The hole you're going to is not that good. Like my size far, two meters. Yeah. Crazy bastard. Train, holy shit! Had to believe that it went. Yes. Edda, Edda, Edda uh, had the vision. That that was a project climb too, right? Yeah, I think most people just wouldn't be stupid enough to throw themselves. Yeah, no. Uh, so we just witnessed an FA <laughs> and the second ascent. <laughs> Wait, does it have a name? Do you name it? What? That's, that's, One ninety-five at least. <laughs> <laughs> a warm day. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. At least 195. <laughs> Yeah. I think I'm still enjoying it. Um, it's nice to sort of match the high point, but um, yeah, I just feel tired. I feel really, really tired now. I feel pretty wiped. Um, I think it's just going to be a question of one of these days it will go right. Um, but who knows when that will be, it could be next session, it could be next year, um, I actually don't know, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> and you started trying the uh, the other section, right, as well? Yeah, so I started trying the, the top section, um, which it's a lot cooler like the moves are really really cool so everybody kept saying the move, you know the line was so much better um, and I can kind of see why because Wadzilla finishes in absolutely nowhere um, so it's a bit of a sort of weird line um, so do you, do you have any other projects on the go right now um, not really projects but uh, Sam and I were trying a block the other day called Burley McFree Willie in um, in Chernet um, what a name. It's, it's an amazing name, isn't it? <laughs> There's a block there called Burley McMurphy. So Burley McFree Willie, I guess, was the obvious progression. Um, mm. Somehow. <laughs> but it's, it's, um, it's got some really cool moves on it. So I'm quite psyched for that. Um, and it's, it's three moves, so it's a lot shorter. Yeah. Uh, which is a, a delightful change. Yeah, I know. Well, okay, so it's not three moves, but it's sort of three hard moves, but the moves into it and the moves out of it are not hard. So it's effectively feels like a three, feels like a three move block. Yeah. Um, 
and I've done two of them is. So. Oh, nice. Two of the three. <laughs> okay. Just no. one more to go. Yeah, exactly. And um, and you and Sam uh, work at which gym? Uh, so Sam. Shout out and to Sam's his, gym. But yeah, so it's, it's Sam's gym uh, with his brother Ben, and I manage the centre. So we're looking forward to opening on the twenty fifth. Yeah. It's called the Borum Climbing Wall. <laughs> Can you <see> that? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Exactly. So you guys have been busy setting and getting ready. Yeah, getting all ready for opening on the twenty fifth. Yeah, We're all psyched, pretty much. Uh, I might nice. do some more. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks, Francis, for bringing us out here today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for checking out. Sorry, I didn't get to do the block. No, it was good fun. Uh, it was good fun. Good yeah, crew I'll, today. Uh, I'll keep trying and keep falling off the end, and uh, eventually, yeah, one of these days, it'll go down. Sweet. Yeah. All right, that's the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed this session. Everybody was so strong. It's so cool to watch them project stuff, work it out. Uh, go follow Francis and the rest of the crew. I left links down below, you can check them out. She's gonna get Wadzilla soon enough, I just know it. And yeah, like, subscribe, share with someone else, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. This is so British. <laughs> you don't get roads like this in, in North America. Everything's big in North America. <laughs> Can't get a Ford 150 through this.